and ladies and gentlemen in studio with the 947 Breakfast Club, Majazi! Me! <laughs> <laughs> Searching for your love Only to find it's been Staring right in front of me Right where I could see Sometimes life tastes just like A bitter pill And hard to swallow but easy when I'm full of you And all those things you do Cause you can call me babe and I'll call you darling If that's alright with you it's fine by me and I will play guitar and you can try to sing Cause you and I will write our own story Cause you and I, well sometimes we're worlds apart But when we're together, we are one heart you see Oh, in spite of me can call me babe and I'll call you darling If that's alright with you, it's fine by me And I will play guitar and you can try to sing Cause you and I will write our own story Call me babe and I'll call you darling If that's alright with you, it's fine by me And I will play guitar and you can try to sing Cause you and I were always meant to be Um, yeah, this is uh, next up. I'm going to play the song that I asked you not to play, <laughs> but you did oh. actually play. Oh. But it's okay. I'm still grateful. Thank you so much. Alex. And um, it's called uh, Waiting. Alex yeah. is the one who played it. Uh, oh, are we blaming this on Alex? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Who presses play, guys? Oh, that's true, Ne. Somebody just clicked and dragged it onto my screen, and when I fired the next uh -huh, song, it happened uh -huh. to be that one, and it happened to be Anela that clicked and dragged no. that song into the playlist. Y y even in his voice, not he said, "Please don't play the song." I'm just telling you that there's a song called "Waiting." Yeah. it's amazing. You're gonna love it. Don't I play didn't it. put it there. And then you played it. I didn't put it there. Though. Say sorry. <laughs> there is no chance. Alex, because <laughs> it's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude, let's just say you, that song put us all in a good mood, Majosi, for a, for a good 24 hours, and I'm so glad that we can finally hear it live. Uh, we're still streaming live on Facebook. Majosi's in studio. He's got his brand new one for us. It's called Waiting. Sometimes. It feels like I do nothing right I just walk and walk without the end in sight Am I a fool to do the same thing And hope something changes Like a fool 
Give you my heart and hope that you don't break it Sometimes it feels like I'm too innocent That if I trust then something good will come of it Am I a fool to do the same thing and hope something changes Like a fool give you my heart and hope that you don't break it And I've been waiting for you all my life You've been running through my dreams at night I've been searching for the longest time Tell me, darling, when will you be mine? I think I see an open door But I don't go in cause I've been here before Am I a fool to feel afraid because I don't know her name? Am I a fool to stand in front of her and hope that she stays? And I've been waiting for you all my life You've been running through my dreams at night I've been searching for the longest time Tell me, darling, when will you be mine? I've been waiting for you all my life You've been running through my dreams at night I've been searching for the longest time Tell me, darling, when Feels like I should never try And sometimes it feels like I do nothing right They're just days and the moments The moments, days and the moments You have always been my soldier I've been waiting for you all my life You've been running Searching for the longest time Tell me, darling, when will you be mine? I've been waiting you know I've been waiting for you all, for my, you all life. my life You've been running, and you've been running through, through my, my dreams at night I've been searching and I've been searching for the longest, for the longest time, time. That's incredible. That's incredible. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little teary. Right? Huh? Like, wow. Do you know, it feels there. Do you know how I know it was good? Tim Begile was looking at him and his, his, his head was tilted to, to the side, right. And he had this <laughs> big smile like a proud father. I was just like, it feels so good to be in a room with talented people for a change. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll make an observation that uh, I know it was good because every all of us were all just quiet, just watching, just like staring. Like, exactly that. Wow. Mesmerized. Majorzi, live in studio. Wow. Okay, come here. We need to talk to you about this talent now. You were singing along to that Selena Gomez song. And yes. I thought Nicki Minaj Starships was your guilty pleasure. Not anymore, to be honest. Now oh. it's Cardi B. Uh, I like it like that. Woo. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I, like I like chicks it. from my exes when I get a second chance. Yo, that's my jam. <laughs> I love that song. Yo, that's a stick. <laughs> that's the one. Do you know? I love this song. Sorry. The power line in that song was like, uh, My name is Cardi B. I run this thing like it's Cardi. Cardi. Yo, I'm like, <laughs> Yo, this song. I actually, I made a running playlist just for this song. I was like, <laughs> I need to play it. And then I only played the song. So the rest of the songs were insecure, insec insec uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever like, the word is. So my Josie, how did you lose weight? Cardi B. Cardi B. Cardi B. <laughs> Thanks, Cardi B. All right. So poor Nicki Minaj. Now it sucks because they're enemies. And you, you literally left the one camp to go to the other camp. <sighs> you know what? Nicki had a time. You know what I mean? She was at the top. <laughs> Little, she took over Little Kim. <laughs> she had no competition. She had no other female rappers to like rap against her. Cardi B came. She was herself. 
the the level you're into this world fascinates me. <laughs> like you're it's, really into it. It's bad. I know everything. I know where she came from. <laughs> I know what she's done. I know who she's married. I know she's pregnant. I know like her rollout plan. I, it's bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was the rollout plan. Let's talk about waiting. Yeah. That song feels like I've known it my entire life, my jersey. Oh, thanks, man. Thank it, you. It's so easy. <laughs> but that's the that's the perfect song, isn't it? That's I mean, when you're writing a song for people to really go, I feel like I know the song. That's I mean, that's the ultimate compliment, really. Yeah, thanks, man. I, I guess so. That's like kind of yeah. That's you want people to connect to the song, you know. Mm. And uh, if they whatever way they connect in, as long as it's a positive way, I'm I'm happy. <laughs> you said the song makes you feel something, Frankie. What does it make you feel? Dude, uh, dude I was listening to it going, maybe I should get Majorzi to sing that at my wedding. One. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. wow. I've waited wow. for you all my life. Are you engaged, dude? I am, I am. Oh, I am. 100%. Let's make it happen, bro. Yeah, How much see. you got? Jokes. Yeah, I'm no, please judge him. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what. Because I've been thinking, look, there's one show you've got to play. Ed Sheeran sold out last week. Yes. We've got to get him on that stage. Wow, oh, there we go, my boy. There we go. There we go. Ah. You, heard it, you heard it, yeah. You've got friends in high, high I places. I have friends in high, high places and low, low places. Can I tell you how much I'd like genuinely, my friend Aston and I, we always talk about how, just how amazing he is. And like, it's more, it's more than just like his songwriting and the songs he writes. It's the, the way we, he is. Yeah. And the way we connect to him and his songs, like, Sometimes there was a time where I was like, nah, I don't need to be in love. It's fun. And then like Ed Sheeran came out with all these songs and I was like, what is that? What is this thing he's singing about? I want, I want this thing that he's singing about. Like it's, it's amazing. I, I genuinely really love that guy. So you weren't in love <clears throat> with Kaylin, your first kiss? Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> yo, yo. I always do their research on the station. <laughs> Jeez. And that's like from an old interview. <laughs> that's from, um, no. <laughs> It's fine. She lives in Australia now, so uh, it's fine. I can say it. No, Fa- I wasn't. Facebook? Facebook? What Are you, like, guys talking on Facebook? No, 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 no. Kaylin, Kaylin's long gone, eh? Kaylin's long gone, eh? Was like, that was, like, when I was, like, 13. <laughs> so who's 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 Kaylin now? Shuf. Ah, relax. No, 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 man. Who's that? What's her surname? Who's that? Who's that? No, don't, don't say Kaylin's long gone, because, you know, Ed Sheeran went back to his first yeah. love from high school. To, yes, you know, yeah. And that's where he's engaged now, so... I mean, yeah, that's a very nice story. It's not going to happen in this case. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking of love and all of that, I want to take you back to a moment where you are taking a picture with a fan and he slips his hand under your top and... It was a she. Was it a she? Yeah, okay. yeah. I, she. I, have a, has a guy done that? I don't know, maybe. I don't know. So when someone's grabbing your nipple, what's your... <laughs> what's what you going say? through your mind? Um, wow, <laughs> why are you doing this to me? <laughs> just, you just, I'm just taking a picture with you. Kaylin, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? How long was the, the nipple grab? Uh, it was long. I've had worse since then, to be honest. You know what's, you know what's really scary is like 40-year-old, like, wind-up woman. They are strong <laughs> and they are forceful. <laughs> they are very, very forceful. It's because it's been a while. I'm like, but your son and your husband are over there, ma'am. It's like, nah, it's fun. Just just uh, one kiss on the cheek. I'm like, oh, gosh, please no. Please don't do that to me. And then as you go for the cheek, do they turn their mouth and connect with the lips? No, no, I don't. I don't kiss on the cheek. No, 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 no. no. They kiss me on the cheek. Oh, my gosh, no. I don't like... I'm not like a, a big kisser on the cheek person or like greetings and stuff like that. Uh. Like, I, yeah, I just must be between me and Boo, not between me and some random. <laughs> oh, you and Boo. Yeah, the boo's, <laughs> boo's around. <laughs> boo's there, Boo's there. No, who, well, yeah, I mean. Who told you you can sing? No one. My mom. I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I don't know. But what's that moment when you realize I'm actually a little bit good at this? Um, Jeez, I've never <laughs> realized that moment. I'm just like, oh, people... People aren't complaining too much, so I will guess I'll continue. <laughs> I guess I'll continue. Okay. It's fine with me. So if I speak to, uh, you know, maybe someone there at big concerts, and you do then end up opening for Ed Sheeran, when you are there at, you know, 90,000 strong crowd, obviously waiting for Ed Sheeran, but enjoying you as well, will that moment then let you know that you're good? Um, Jeez, I, I don't think so. Eh? I don't think so. I really? Just, yeah, I just, I just enjoy what I do. And um, I don't know, for me, it's not a matter of me being good or bad. Because I'll always think there's someone better. Mm. There's always people that can sing better. And I always think that I can sing better. 
Uh, but I think I try and think beyond that. I think if people are connecting with the songs and they're having a good time, then mm. I'm doing my job, you know? Mm. Like, have you heard, like, the Migos perform live? They sound horrible. <laughs> people <laughs> having a good time. Yeah, but people are still having a good time, you know, and I, I don't like to put that much pressure on me. I don't see myself as a singer or like a, see myself as more of a performer, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. You guys are looking at me very weirdly. No, no, <laughs> we, we, like we, we, we're taking it all in. We're taking it all in. What's what's it? So just, I mean, uh, us Joburgers, you know, we don't know these things. What's it like living on the promenade in Cape Town and then the, when the sun rises, seeing that every day? What what does that feel like? Um, Have you ever seen a unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, then you won't know what it feels like. It's oh, a majestic wow. feeling. Um, it's it's warmth. It's a feeling of warmth and um, and majesty. Equate it to a song. Um, like the first time you heard Bohemian Rhapsody and you found out it was just one song. Just one <laughs> continuous song. And you were like, what is this? What is this? Yo, there we go. Every, I wake up now. Stretch yes. my arms. And then the, you see the sea. You see the sea? Yeah. Some seagulls flying past. Yeah. Obviously, girls, good-looking girls, good-looking guys oh, yeah? running past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Alex yeah. Is here for the good-looking And now, now I quickly make myself a smoothie. Ah. Stand by the curtain. No shirt on, just in my gown. Just chilling there. Gown. Grab a coffee, grab an uh, espresso. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then I just look and I'm like, I better start work. <laughs> That's me. You put me there. It's a tough life, man. Yeah. I can taste the, the smoothie. It's actually blueberry smoothie. <laughs> Blue, ah. <laughs> With Greek yogurt. Mm. Ah. Espresso like George mm. Clooney. No. <laughs> in a gown. In a, in a gown, gown, dude. In a gown. Ah. All right, my Josie. Is there a song in the last year where every time you hear it, you get a little bit jealous? Yes. Um, I, think it, I think it was in the last year, but um, there's a local band called Opposite the Other. Uh, and yes. they've got their song, Stutter Love. When I the first time I heard that song, I was like, "Oh my gosh, why didn't I write this song? Yeah. I love that song. I really and I love those guys. Ooh, here we go. I don't know if you've met these guys, but they they're young. They're like 21, but they're the most put together 21 year olds ever. I was like a retrograde when I was 21. I was crying all the time, just trying to figure out life. These guys are well grounded, amazing songwriters, amazing musicians. They're young. I think they're probably gonna be the next biggest thing to come out of South Africa. I want to hear them a little. When you don't quite know what you run from, but we hold, but we hold on. Beautiful. Opposite the other, hey? Yeah. Opposite the other, man. Friendly fire. I'm... I'm starting to wonder whether we're backing the right horse for opening for Ed Sheeran. Now, you know, <laughs> the, the way he's so I'm sticking to Whoa. my Josie. I'm sticking to my Josie. Uh, listen, my Josie, thanks so much for coming to hang out with us. You are... It's... And you know, what you're saying about Ed Sheeran is obviously also what we feel about you. It's like we connect to your music. You're such a nice guy. Yes, you guys are. You guys almost made me cry with that nice little intro thing you did. I was like put this together this is so beautiful please do one for me for my shows i'll definitely Done. use that it's Done. so nice Thank okay you, man. so here's the deal we'll make interest for you if you'll perform at frankie's wedding 100 percent. and then we we're then to gonna friends. speak to big concerts immediately please. at nine o'clock i'm jumping on the phone i'm saying dion D dion it's your boy josie can i perform for <laughs> <laughs> can i perform <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's been an absolute blast. Uh, please go and get Waiting on iTunes. It is such a great song. We feel like we've heard it forever. Moving stuff, ladies and gentlemen, for the last time. Majority. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. The Thank 947 you. Breakfast Club.